Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan again with you from Milky Way Art Design. Um, today I am going to do another off-centered pour on a 12-inch wooden panel. And as you can see, I already mixed my base coat. So here I have 10 parts of uh, paint, house paint, uh, satin uh, finish. And I added two parts of, a little bit of, more than two parts of um floral and one part of gag 800 and this time i don't know because of the weather or something i had to uh, add a tiny bit of water so with paint we all know never you will have the right consistency your paint might be thicker or thinner it your floral might be thicker or thinner thinner so under the circumstances you will check if it's uh, okay with you or if you're happy with your consistency otherwise you would add some water to make the right consistency so as you can see to start with i am spreading my paint on my um, panel and i'm making sure that i have enough paint at the same time not too much you can see that I have added a duct tape at the center of the tile which is sitting right on top of my spinner and uh, I am trying to figure out why would my uh, pattern center would be because I want to make sure that that pattern center is sitting right on the center of the spinner. So I am taking making sure that uh, I can figure out exactly where I want my center to be centered on the spinner. Um, so I just put a little indentation. You'll see that when I put my first drop, it would be very close to that uh, finger inden indentation of the surface. And from there, I am going to arrange the um, other drops. On the description section, I will definitely put down the names of the paintings that I am using. This time I recorded everything. And you can see that I am putting my first drop of paint very close to the finger indentation I made before. And that's my center. And from there, I will start putting all the other colors and we'll see uh, you'll see that I am making sure that my pattern pattern that I am going to create, they are very close together because if they are very close together, it will highlight my negative space. That will create a more contrast. So that's important. The color that right now I am put, putting on, I'm not very sure about this color. It looks nice, but I don't know how it would look like at daytime. So we'll see. The green color that I'm using for this pour, I'm not very really sure about it. You guys have to tell me if you like it or not.
guys, look at upper right corner of the screen. How am I ruining my shirt as well as the paint? That's life of a painter, right? At this point, I'm looking at my pattern and I can see that there are some empty spots still available. Most likely when I spin my paint, uh, those empty uh, spots will run off, but I don't want to take any chances. Like I said, to highlight my negative space, I need to fill up the place where I am putting my designs on. So I'm just filling up and if I see any empty spots, um, even though they are most likely will run off but still I'm not taking any chances I'm done blowing now my finger is pointing at the center of the spinner and when I spin you will see that uh, my pattern will spread from the center to the sides so it's extremely important to understand when you spin your panel which directions will your patterns go and once you get that understanding you will be good at this this is the fun part I always look forward to so you can see as I'm modifying I'm making sure that uh, my flowers don't stay individual I I'm trying to kind of mix them up so they look cohesive at the end of the day Now that I'm done with modifying, I want to show you how it looks like close up. So these are a couple of shots for you guys to see. Guys, I'm done with modifying. Now, as I'm spinning, I want you to pay attention to the side of the pattern section. All the little negative space that you see on the sides, uh, they will spread and run off of my panel. So they will be gone. I'm 
quite happy with the composition that I have right now. Only thing right now I want to do is use the pointy side of my skewer and uh, modify my pattern a little to add some detail. Um, this idea I got from Cindy Vanderveen and she is really good at it. You should check out her videos.